Good morning, children. Welcome to our mathematics class. Today, we will be discussing our quarter one, week seven lesson. Estimating the quotient of three to four digit dividends by one to two digit divisors. After going through this lesson, you are expected to estimate the quotient of 3 to 4 digit dividends by 1 to 2 digit divisors and solve for both the estimated quotient and actual quotient. Before we proceed with our lesson, let's review first the rules in rounding of numbers. Look at the digit to be rounded off. If the digit to the right is 4 and below, round down. Retain the digit to be rounded off, then replace the remaining numbers to the right with 0. If the digit to the right is 5 and above, round up. Add 1 to the digit on the rounding place, then replace all the remaining numbers with 0. Now let's try to round off the following numbers to the highest place value. This time, let's find the quotient. Use cancellation method. Example, 7,000 divided by 10. I-cancel ang parehong bilang ng zero sa divisor at sa dividend. Ang sagot ay 700. Ngayon ay kayo naman ang magsagot ng natitirang numbers. Ngayon naman ay pag-aaralan natin kung paano makuha ang estimated quotient. Let's read the sample problem. A farmer has 31,205 pineapples to pack equally in 48 boxes. About how many pineapple will be in each box? Tandaan natin na kapag nakita natin ang word clue na about sa word problem, ibig sabihin, Ang hinahanap natin ay estimated answer. Paano nga ba natin hahanapin ang estimated quotient? In estimating the quotient, follow these steps. Example, kung i-divide natin ang 31,205 sa 48 at hahanapin natin ang actual quotient, Ang sagot ay 650 remainder 5. Pero kung estimated quotient ang hinahanap natin, ganito ang gagawin natin. First, round off the dividend and the divisor to their highest place value. Then apply the rules of cancellation for dividing rounded numbers. Teacher, paano nga po ulit yun? I-round off muna natin ang dividend at divisor. Ang 31,205 ay magiging 30,000 at ang 48 naman ay magiging 50. Pagkatapos ay gagamitin natin ang rules ng cancellation. I-cancel ang parehong bilang ng zero sa divisor at dividend. Ang matitira na lang ay 3,000 divided by 5. Ang sagot ay 600. Kaya ang estimated quotient natin ay 600. Nakuha nyo ba mga bata? Magaling! Learning Task 2. Find the Estimated Quotient.
Now, let's answer learning task 3. Choose the letter of the estimated quotient. And for learning task 4, solve the given problems. This time, we will study how to solve problems involving division of 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers. Learning Task 1. Answer the following questions. Now, let's read and analyze this sample problem. Pepe has 20 dozens of eggs to be placed equally in 5 baskets. How many eggs will be in each basket? To solve the given problem, follow these steps. Number 1. What is as in the problem? Number 2. What are the given facts? Number 3. What is the operation to be used? Number 4. What is the number sentence? And number 5. Use the operation to solve. So we are looking for the number of eggs to be placed in the basket. The given facts are 20 dozens and 5 baskets. We are going to use division to solve the problem. And we will write the number sentence as 20 times 12 because of the dozens divided by 5 equals n. And lastly, it's time to solve the problem. 240 divided by 5. 2 divided by 5 is cannot be. So we move on to 24. 24 divided by 5 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 minus 0 is 4. Bring down 0. 40 divided by 5 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 40 minus 40 is 0. The answer is 48. So there are 48 eggs in each basket. 
Continue answering with learning task 3. And finally, for learning task 4, choose the letter of the correct answer. Congratulations kids, you have just finished your quarter one, week seven lesson.